Hello everyone, my name is Dimitris. I am a software engineer at MathWorks and in this video we're going to talk about automated driving applications. Specifically, we will talk about how to easily visualize your data, sensor outputs, ground truth and more using the intelligent bird's eye scope. Let's start by using an example for a lane keep assist algorithm. Here, we can see a seemingly model that implements this algorithm. It uses sensor data to make corrections in order to keep a car between two lanes. We can visually verify that our algorithm is working by using the bird's eye scope. Let's pull that up from the review results section on the simulating toolstrip. Right now, the bird's eye scope does not contain any signal information. So, how do you get the data in the bird's eye scope? You might think that we need to manually find and connect the signals, but with the bird's eye scope, that is not necessary. You can use the intelligent mechanism called find signals that will automatically detect all the bus signals of interest. Not only that, the bird's eye scope knows all the blocks in Simulink that can produce these signals and it collects their metadata. Why, you ask? Well, it allows us to calculate and visualize the field of view or range of a sensor without any user input. Once the signals are found, they populate the left-hand side panel of the bird's eye scope under different categories. You can move these signals to different categories by simply dragging and dropping. Also, by right-clicking on a signal, you can locate it in the model by using the Highlight in Model option. Now, let's run the simulation to see the driving scenario that we will use to test our algorithm. As you can see, the sensors detect lanes, but the car is not driving between them. So, let's stop the simulation for now, enable the algorithm, and start the simulation again in order to test whether the algorithm is working. As we can see, the car stays between the two lanes after the necessary corrections are made, which means that our algorithm works. While the model is running, we can enable the legend so we can clearly see what every marker on the axis is. Also, we can zoom in and out if we want more or less detail. Finally, any progress or changes made in the bridge eye scope, such as changing the color or even the name of a signal are saved so we can continue our work where we left off. So to summarize, by using the bridge eye scope with a few easy steps, we were able to locate all of the signals in the model, simulate and visualize the results and then save our progress. Thank you so much for watching. For more information on the bird's eye scope, please visit the links below where you can also find many examples that you can try out.